Welcome. So what I have here is two points. And what I want to do is write the equation of the line. And we're going to do that by using slope-intercept form. Now remember, when we, have two, when we had two points and we were trying to determine the slope between the two points, one of the first things we did was immediately just label them as x and y coordinates. So we could say that the first two coordinates was x1 and y1 and then x2 and y2. And sometimes our definition of our point slope form gets students confused because they say, well, where did the y2 go? We have x and y1, but we don't have x and y2. So sometimes what I like to do is rewrite this equation like this. Now notice, all I'm doing is I'm just changing how we're labeling the x and the y. It's still y coordinate minus y coordinate equals the slope times x coordinate minus the other x coordinate. The only thing we're doing is we're just changing the labeling of our y and our x's. So when doing at this point, you can see, oh, OK, now all I'm simply going to do is just plug in the y2, x2, y1, and x1 into this equation to be able to determine my slope. Then once I know my slope, I can then replug them back in and then use one of these points as well. Now we could also use the slope um, equation if we wanted to. You could also just use the slope equation because remember we derived this from the equation to, to, for the slope formula. But I'm just going to plug them in here. So I'll have 5 minus 0 equals my slope, which I'm trying to figure out as 5 minus 1. So therefore, this becomes 5 equals m times 4. Not a solve for m. I divide by 4. Divide by 4. So therefore, m equals 5 fourths. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go back. But a lot of times, we just like to use this original equation because we're not, we, now that we know the slope, we need to determine what the equation of the line is. We don't need to plug in two points again. So I don't need to use this version of the equation. I can. But it's more simple and more easier to understand if I can just use the first equation where I'm only using one point. Now, in this equation, I have y1 and x1. You could rewrite this equation and say y minus y2 equals m times x minus x2, because it doesn't matter what point you use. But for this case, let's just use y1 and y2. So therefore, I'll have y minus y1, which is 0, equals my m, which is now 5 fourths times x minus x1, which is 1. Then I apply distributive property. y minus 0 is y equals 5 fourths x minus 5 fourths. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Now, from two points, we're able to write our equation in slope-intercept form. Thanks.